channel if you've been here before. If you've been here before, I really honestly could not tell you for which type of content you've been here before. So hopefully, um, if you are back, it was this one. If not, I'm sorry to disappoint. But um, yeah, today I was just like really thinking about this and I was like, you know what? Like I haven't talked about this in, it's been like two, two years at least um and I never gave any kind of updates or anything and I was like you know what <laughs> it's it's time I guess I think that I'm past it enough to talk a little bit more about it um and that thing is my nursing school experience um if you have not seen that video I will link the card for you because this really won't make a lot of sense well it still kind of might but I will give you some background um but this is kind of the forward progression from that and how I'm really feeling about it still like two years later, you know, this is kind of the, <laughs> the update video for it. And I don't even know if I'm going to post this. Um, I'm really for sure at least just making this for me. Um, I made that video for me, not for any other reason, not to like spread hate or anything like that, but just because it <laughs> I needed to talk about it um, in a way that felt therapeutic to me and YouTube has been my therapy like time and time again I've been on and off of YouTube since I was in high school um, and I'm 25 now uh, so with that being said let's get into it so this video is gonna be kind of an update just in general on me as a nurse um, my jobs and this is really gonna be an update on the kind of lasting impacts um, that I still experience and that I still have because of the trauma that I went through in nursing school um, and I have like thought numerous times about you know was I should I not have said that should I not have said anything about my experience should I not have shared that and honestly at the end of the day I can say that is the video that I am most proud of ever making um, I personally have gone back and rewatched that video numerous times just um, as a form of therapy because I needed it and I needed to. Um, I have literally revisited um, that in therapy, which I'm still actively going to. Um, and yeah, so if you recall from that video, or if you don't, I'll catch you up a little bit. I had a very traumatic nursing school experience, um, and honestly not so much until my senior year. So the first year of nursing school, it was pre-nursing. You couldn't go in as nursing. Um, and if you didn't watch that video, I went to a branch campus of a state school. So yeah, went to this branch campus and you have to start out pre-nursing, can't start nursing. They had told us, I believe, that it was like, I'll have to refer back to my old video, I'll try to post it here, but it was like a three, four GPA or something that they were gonna be cutting us at. And they ended up cutting us way higher at a 3.7 GPA after that. Um, so we went from like 150 some of us to I graduated with 27 of us, I believe. Um, I could be off by like one or two, but that is, genuinely about the number um and they really weaned us out and it was a hard program it was a fair program in my opinion for the first three years um and then I experienced some things my senior year that I don't to this day know how to talk about um that I'm still really trying to actively like process and um work through in therapy and with myself um, and this is a form of that for me so if anyone's wondering why I'm making that it's because this is a form of myself healing so I went to this school and like I said I thought that it was fair for the first three years you know I did well but I've always been someone that kind of self doubts um, no matter what kind of feedback I'm getting no matter how great it is or how well people tell me I'm doing or how smart people tell me I am like I'm a self doubter I just am um, I'm not the person that thinks I know everything I'm the person that thinks I know nothing so take that for what it is my senior year well between my junior and senior year of nursing school, I actually got um, independently out from my program in a whole different city, um, back in my home city. 
I got an independent student nurse internship. Um, and essentially it was me paired directly with a nurse um, and it was for this huge organization. They have multiple hospitals, multiple rehab facilities, outpatient clinics, doctor's offices, physical therapies, rehabs, like you name it, this, they have like, it's a huge mecca of healthcare in this city. Um, and so it's very hard to get a spot in that internship. It's like 600 or so of us applied. At least that's what they told me when I was going through the application process. It was like 600 or some of us applied and it was less than a hundred of us that actually got placed into like a thing. So I got placed on a cardiac step down unit. Um, that was just where they thought that I would learn the most, where they thought I would be best suited. You go through like a whole interview. It's, it's a big thing. Um, and so that's where I was. And when I tell you that like I learned so much in that internship, I learned so much. I became so much more confident in myself and like I don't just attribute that to me and the work I put in I attribute that to my nurse that um she it was literally I worked her schedule with her for the whole summer so for three months any shift that she was scheduled to work I would become scheduled to work and that's how it was and it was amazing like I cannot say enough good things about that program the people that i worked with like my preceptor maddie shout out to you if you ever somehow see this maddie you were the shit you gave me so much more confidence you pushed me but you were kind about it and i needed that um and to our our unit director and manager they were the same way they pushed you but they cared and it was amazing i had such a good experience so when those three months were up and I was going back to school for my senior year of nursing school out of my four-year bachelor degree program. I'm going to be honest. I felt a confidence that I'd never had. I felt like I was going to go in there and make them so proud. I felt like I was going to go in and show them all the stuff that I'd learned. And that, like, it was the first time I ever felt confident about being a nurse was that program. And then going into senior year, you know, I was just riding that high. I was so excited. Um, and I'm not going to go back into everything in this video that happened because that is its whole own like hour long story time. Like I said, I will link it. Um, but the things that like I experienced that year were, they were really hard. Um, I'm a people pleaser by nature. Um, I live to make other people happy, to make other people proud. And that's literally all that I wanted. So um, if you watched that video, you know, it didn't quite go exactly like that. It ended up being really traumatic. I had issues with my program. I had issues with um, individual professors in the program. Um, and it's not like I don't hold hate. Like I don't hate any of them. I don't hold hate on any of that. Um, cause I've grown to realize that's just never going to be me. That's never going to be like how I function as a person. But like, I want to talk about what that has done to me, how the ways that that has stayed with me over time. So literally, <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to cry. Literally today I got, um, called with the offer for my like dream nursing position um in addiction and recovery <laughs> and i'm so excited about it <sighs> but let me tell you what it took to get there so ever since all of that happened i've had a really hard time with like feeling like i'm a nurse like deserving of that title um feeling like i know what i'm doing like i went in very confident i got struck down very hard by very many people um and that really killed my confidence so when i went into my first nursing job after that i literally had no self-confidence in myself like in general but especially not as a nurse so I made it through, um, you know, that position. I worked on a stroke neuro um, unit and I loved it. I loved pretty much all of my coworkers there. They were great. 
Um, and I got really amazing feedback from, you know, my director, from my manager, from the other floor nurses that had been there longer. I got really good feedback and that felt really amazing. That felt so good because I never thought that I was gonna have that. And that was where I started to gain some confidence. So from there, I left there and I ended up working in like private duty home health for a family member, um, elderly family member that needed some help. And after that, I ended up working in a long-term care skilled nursing facility. And as many negative things as I could say about that place, um, I could also say so many positive things for myself. Um, you know, I went in there as a 24 year old floor nurse with not that much experience and not that much self confidence. Um, and you know, a year later at 25, I was acting as supervisor. I was one of the people that could really help teach you to chart that could help you with any questions you had I could help the aides I could help the nurses you know I started to get that confidence back that feeling of like no I do know what I'm doing I'm not useless I'm not stupid I'm not a bad nurse like I am someone that that people here look up to and I'm not saying that to flex in any way because I still don't feel that way about myself it's something I have to like actively remind myself and tell myself because my therapist has actively pointed it out to me um, and I got amazing feedback there too from management from my co-workers from people that worked in positions that were considered under me but I don't consider any position in healthcare under anyone we need everyone in health care I mean the housekeepers are just as fucking important as the nurses they are and if you don't believe that you haven't been doing it long enough or you just don't see I don't know but that really gave me back my confidence for the first time like this job so as many negative things like I said I'm not gonna say any of them as many negative things as I could say about that position um, I also have amazing things to say about it just because of what it did for me personally um, and everyone's journey looks different you know so here I am today and what happened so if there is anything in the world that I have wanted to do for like as long as I can remember to tell people and I've always kind of gone back and forth on what I think in life I could do that would help people the most and I you know I ended up on nursing but for me one of the biggest things that I just think is under addressed and just there's too much stigma and problems like I I, as someone that struggle with mental health problems, have always had a special fucking place in my heart for anything mental health related in nursing and in general. And the more that you get to understand mental health things, whether it's you struggling with it, a family member, a friend, a partner, a patient, etc. One of the things that that led me to was the world of addiction and recovery. And why is it that I think that that pulled me so much? Uh, honestly, partially because of family experiences, um, you know, family members that have dealt with problems with addiction, um, and just how it affected their whole life, their loved ones, their family, their friends, I mean, everything, you know. Aside from that, I also just realized at some point that like addiction and recovery is so, so insanely mental health based. It is so much about how someone is mentally doing. Um, and like the thing is, is I know at any point I easily could have crossed over into that. Um, I know at any point with my mental health problems and with some of the trauma I've experienced and my CPTSD, etc., I know at any point I could have been someone um, that ended up 
an addict, you know? And I am so grateful that I didn't. I'm so grateful that that's not the path that my life took. I am so grateful for the support system that I have. Um, and for my mental strength and toughness for all of the fucking shit that I've been through in my life. Um, and I know that I'm just lucky. Like, I'm lucky and that could have easily been me. Because it is so closely tied to mental health. And I have struggled with every, like, mental health issue under the sun. And I will probably continue to struggle. Although I am actively working on it and that's the difference. But today I got offered my dream job. And I almost couldn't interview for it because of the mental blocks that I have. Um, and most of those mental blocks really definitely come. Like from that time that I spent and from the doubt that I grew, that self-doubt. And I know that like I, there's no way I'm the only one that's ever experienced something like that. But when I tell you that I've almost missed out on amazing opportunities and things that were absolutely meant for me because of people who did not understand me. Because they did not try and they did not want to. I can't imagine what would have happened if I had allowed that to be my story my path my journey you know i have been pushing every fucking day since then to come to terms with who i am and what i know about myself and one thing that i know for sure about myself is that i care more than probably any nurse that you're gonna know and I don't say that as a flex, I say that as someone who's really been both physically and mentally on the other side of that. And so I know what it's like and I know what it means. And I just want to say if any of those fucking professors ever see this, you were all fucking wrong. You were wrong and you were ignorant. Because I am a great nurse. I beat out other candidates that were older, that had more professional experience in these things. I beat them out to be the only one in my position. And I deserve that. I've earned that because I'm a good nurse. Because I fucking care. Because I will go above and beyond. So I'm sorry if this was long and emotional and ranty and I really try not to come on camera and just like cry but this is literally something that I just like have been carrying for a long time and that like I haven't like had the strength to just talk about but I'm not that person anymore and I'm not there anymore and I'm not going to be I'm not gonna lower myself anymore I am what I know that I am I know who I am I know what kind of person I am. I know what's in my soul. I'm a good person and I'm a good nurse and I really give a fuck about people. And no one's ever gonna take that away from me again. So even if I never post this and this is just for me, Britt, look back on this. Look back on this the way you look back at that video from nursing school and you just fucking remind yourself how far you've come and that you aren't that person and no one can make you okay anyway this is probably for me so I'm just gonna go